No, no let, tell let's me what's do this. With Bill Gates. <laughs> uh, let me see if I want to share a link to my computer so we can Google that and yeah. um, to and read it to why. Plus, I actually have a surprise two-minute video for all three of us to do a live reaction mm -hmm. video on. We'll we'll do that right after. And this is where uh, Warren Buffett and uh, Charlie Munger yesterday they had a live ca uh, conference on Yahoo Finance, uh, Yahoo Business Finance, I believe. And I, I would, it's a two-minute short video. Uh, I really want uh, you, you guys' uh, reaction on that too. We'll do that right after. But right now. We were looking up Bill Gates buying land, and um, I want this link. Let's see how we're going to share this link. Share screen. Um, I could make some guesses as to what he could be doing with that land, but please wanna, go ahead. I want to hear. Please. I want to hear first from you guys so that I can make <laughs> so that my guess doesn't just sound crazy understood okay here we go looks like i got it to work uh can you guys see the screen yes mm -hmm. awesome so let me go over here very good so i'm going to just read it from me glassstone land another farmland reit that owns 127 farms comprised of 94,000 acres trades at an all-time high farmland Bill Gates buys big on farmland shopping spree. Should we put a word why next to it so it can explain why? Some argue that Gates is buying up land to indulge in futuristic experiments in urban dwelling or the creation of new food. But the reason for the move may in fact be more per sake. What does that word stand for, per sake? What does that mean, this word? Uh, I believe per sake means uh, like... Like... Um more simplistic or old um uh, like an old time meaning gotcha in this, it, yeah in this instance mm. it's it's just as simple as something we would have done in the past understood it's a good investment with low volatility not closely closely tied to the stock market and can be deployed as an influentiary hedge well a lot of people a lot of uh, go ahead tj i want i want your opinion on this uh be before we move forward uh, JT, go ahead, please. Well, I do know that he's uh, doing a lot and spending a lot of money on trying to uh, create uh, a better way to utilize uh, nuclear energy. Uh, I know that he did kind of get stopped by the American government saying that he's not able to do it here. So he's trying to move to China and do it there. So, mm. so I'm thinking he wouldn't be buying up farmland to do that. So... I would say part of it could also just be as simple as the I know that you guys had probably heard of like the farmland boom that happened in Nebraska a long time ago where people were buying uh, farmland for like huge premiums way above what the farms were actually worth. And those that were able to get in early as the bubble was building, they were able to make a lot of money. And then after the bubble burst, many, many people and farmers were left holding the bag. Mm -hmm. um, and it could just be as simple as that he's trying to take advantage of um, an area that he knows is kind of going to be on the rise, and he wants mm -hmm. to take advantage of that. And would that area possibly be carbon? Because I hear possibly. a lot of uh, I, I've, I've, I've been reading in articles where carbon is becoming more and more scarce, and uh, they've found a way <laughs> to extract carbon from uh, from the air, and uh, so that's basically the, the 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 article was describing the future big move is going to, we're moving from tech into more of a um, see this is a subject where i need to do more research on in order to explain it's way above my pay grade to explain but it's something they even had the machineries and images showing air passes through it and it extracts certain chemicals from the air and wherever the extraction is is going to become a high commodity in the near future so he's positioning himself towards future commodity that is going to basically create that's what the uh, uh that magazine was about basically interesting mm -hmm. well um, i 
Uh-huh. I, I think that that I agree with the article. I, I think it could be just as simple as you know going back to you know what's the basics of life and uh, you know food, water, air. So, um, you know, if you're buying up the farmland, you have more control over the food. Um, and knowing Bill Gates and the things that he's involved in and what uh, he likes to, to uh, invest in. And um, I, I could see him buying up huge amounts of uh, farmland and using that farmland ex- as exactly that as farmland, but also um, doing testing for, um, for increasing production in crops, uh, genetically modifying the crops to be more nutritious, um, you know, everything towards benefiting human beings, but at the same time, putting some dollars in your pocket. I, I know there's, um, gosh, I can't remember her name. I hate when I don't have the information, but there's actually some, there's a, one of the leaders in India that's actually uh, moving against him buying up farmland in India because um, she's afraid of, of one, one person having uh, control over major stocks of food, food mm-hmm. production. Um, mm-hmm. And she's concerned about it, uh, about him taking taking control over land that uh, farming land that should be in the hands of uh, local citizens or local communities. So, um, but I, I agree with that article. I think that it's probably simpler than that. I think it's it's really focused uh, on the on the food, not necessarily on on other technology. But I I could be wrong. 